Greetings to all of you. My dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends, and we welcome to all of you. Find your place of rest in Jesus. This is Reverend Yadi. The role of God. We have begun to look at the parable of the vine and the branches that Jesus shared with his disciples in John 15. We will return to it several times throughout our study. In this new session, we want to consider the role of the vine dresser. Jesus began the parable by saying, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. John 15, verse 1. It is not enough to know what Jesus is, that Jesus is your vine. You also need to know that the Father is the vine dresser. He planted the vine and he takes care of it. An abiding rest in Jesus is the work of God from the beginning to end. Here's a verse that will reinforce this idea in your mind. But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that, as it is written, he who glories, let them glory in the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. You are in Christ, Paul said to the Corinthians. They had their problems. They had their moments of glaring immaturity. But they were in Christ. Those are four important words, the basis of the Christian life, words all believers need to hear and to be assured of. You are in Christ. We are going to dedicate a session to each of the four things mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 30. Wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. It's important to understand that Christ is all of this for you. But before we do that, focus your intention on the first three words of this verse but of Him. Of God you are in Christ. Of God you will abide in Christ. Of God you will learn more and more how to rest in Him. An important lesson on the path to abiding rest in Jesus is to learn to find comfort in these two words of God. You know that there is a human side and a divine side to your life in Christ. The divine side is mysterious and unseen. It can't be measured and it's hard to give an account of it. The human side is easier to explain. You repent, you believe, you pray, you do the things believers do. So, when you look for signs to remind you that you are in Christ, where will you look? It's common for believers to look to the human side of things. There are things there that they can put a date on, things they can see and measure it to some degree. Understand? Let me urge you the difference. Learn to look to the divine side of things. There is great comfort there. There is unspeakable power. Surely the things you have done in regards to your salvation have been empowered by God. So, you can think about them and still give glory to God. 
but just forget them for the moment. Just think of the raw divinity, the majestic sovereignty that is responsible for you being in Christ. Think of Romans 8.29 From whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son. The Lord has appeared of all to me, saying, Yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love, and therefore with loving kindness I have drawn you. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Ephesians 1 verse 11 Jesus said his Father is the vine dresser. Understand the implications of this. The vine dresser cares for the vine and the branches equally. God is waiting over you with the same care with which he watches over Jesus as he lived on this earth. No vine dresser would care only for the vine and neglect the branches. The branches receive the same attentions as the divine. The vine dresser sees them as one. Even if the branches don't always see it that way. Give the vine dresser your attention as he works in you. He is all you need, and you can be sure that you have his attention. Here is another Bible verse. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2 verse 10. But God makes works. He made the sun to give light. Look how well it does its job. He made the eyes to see, the ears to hear, and he made you to do good things. Spend less time thinking about your old nature. Focus less on your former failures. Think instead about how God has taken it upon himself to see to your spiritual progress and well-being. Every way that Jesus Christ benefits you is the handiwork of God. Every blessing you receive from Christ is God's doing. And of this God, you are in Christ. The God who made Jesus Christ to be all that he is for you has now taken it upon himself to make you into a blessing to the world around you. as you think about your personal life. Ask the Holy Spirit to unfold you where you are blocked, where you need an openness to see the better things that God already did in your life and focus more on that path. May you find peace on your journey. Blessings.